Good morning and welcome to www.sheswapmarina.com On the lot today we have another lovely sea ray. This time it's a 2000, year 2000, Sea Ray Sundancer 260. This is a very popular boat for the lakes around here based on its excellent use of size and space. This is a very clean example of a Sea Ray Sundancer 260. This boat has had some ocean time, although the current owner has only had it in uh, fresh or brackish water for the most part. They did do a couple of ocean trips, but it was always well um, rinsed in fresh water immediately after. Uh, in our work on the boat in recent history, we've not noticed anything detrimental as far as sea issues. It does come on the load right trailer, which is also a year 2000. This boat is powered by a Mer Cruiser 7.4 MPI, multi-port fuel injected, big block V8. Gives it about 310 horsepower. And it's pushed along by Mercruiser's Bravo 3 stern drive, as you can see here, which is a great power package for this boat. As we walk around, I mean, you'll see there's certainly some evidence that it has been a saltwater boat. But everywhere from the water line up, that evidence pretty much disappears. We'll uh, hop inside here and have a look at some of the features there. Alright, and here we are standing on the swim platform of the Sea Raid 260 Sundancer. And when you purchase this boat, I do still have a moorage spot available that we could put the boat in for you. And this could be your view. How nice would that be? Also on the swim platform, we do have a kicker bracket here ready to go. And as we come up into the cockpit, there are downrigger bases with power points mounted on each side. So that does make this a pretty versatile boat. Now we've got fishing to add to the list of things that you can do with it. As we come inside here, you'll see there is a nice handy molded in step here so that you can get up and around the outside of the boat. Nice little wet bar sink up top here. I love the flexible seating here. This rear seat does uh, stow away. And having the table here in the cockpit is a nice feature. Full camper canvas. Extends your boating season and the amount of space you've got in the cabin with it covered. Snap out carpets are another very nice feature. All the upholstery is in really good shape few little nicks and that kind of things here and there but for an 18 year old boat she's in extremely good condition. As we come around to the helm here we have a G Garmin GPS fish finder as well as the Raytheon VHF. The Bennett auto tab system is actually pretty cool. It uh, automatically levels the boat for you so as you're payload shifts and all that kind of stuff. It'll uh, adjust the tabs accordingly. And you can also turn it off so it doesn't do that. And then also it'll retract the tabs automatically when you do shut the boat off. Your full Siri gauge cluster. The uh, canvas is in exceptional shape. I believe it was new a couple of years ago. And we'll uh, head down below here. Now, as we go down below, we'll notice that once again the very clean and, and well-kept theme continues. We've got an alcohol stove and a microwave. There is a fridge here. This boat does have air conditioning, which is a very nice feature. So if you're plugged in at the dock, you can stay as cool or warm as you like. It does have a heat function. This forward berth here does convert into a bed, 
as well as acting as your dinette, which makes for a very nice large sleeping area up here. As we head down, you'll see there is a lot of natural light, even uh, even though I've got the drapes on the windows here. Very nice and bright color scheme down here. Uh, once again, as is typical with most series, there is the uh, fly screen and blind on the forward hatch. So you can darken it up a bit for those nice lazy mornings. And as we swing around, we'll give you a different perspective of the galley here. And the aft cabin just over there. First, we'll just have a look at the head. We do have a vacuum flush toilet system on board. Very nice because you don't have loud, noisy pumps running when you do go to the toilet. It's a lot quieter and much more efficient on your water and um, holding tank storage space. This also serves as your shower in here. I love the fluffy cover on the seat. We'll swing around here. Here we have the cabin now. The aft cabin is a very generous size because it almost stretches the whole width of the boat. So as you can see, we do have air conditioning uh, vent in here as well. Keep you nice and cool on those hot summer days. And then this here is the view of the cockpit from inside the boat. We'll uh, pop open the engine hatch here and have a quick look there. And here we have the engine compartment of the Sea Ray 260 Sundancer. It is a 7.4 MPI multi port fuel injected Merc Cruiser Big Block V8. It is raw water cooled and is running very well. We've done a full tune up on it this spring. And according to the owner, it runs the best it's ever run for him. As you can see, it's pretty clean down there, and there's actually still quite a bit of access and room to work, even with that big block in there. Once again, all very clean and all done in typical C-Ray style. So there we have it. It is a model year 2000 C-Ray 260 Sundancer. Very flexible package. Both your family boat and cruiser and weekend getaway, as well as a fishing machine in disguise. Another feature on the swim platform I failed to mention is it does already have davits installed for a dinghy. So uh, much better than towing your, your shore going device behind you. You can get it up on the davits there on the back of the boat, which is a very nice feature and the rods and uh, standoffs and all that are inside the boat for that. Nice big long uh, boarding ladder on the swim platform. Once again a very nice clean package and uh, as the boat asks you, why not? Thanks again for coming by SheSwapMarina.com and we'll see you on the water.